This is again meant to be very interactive, so feel free to jump in at any time um, with, with any thoughts you might have. It, that's what real life looks like. We're, we're keeping, you know, we're, we're dragged out of it. There's always a tension. You want to get back to the light. You know it, you like it, you want to be there. But, you know, something happens that pulls you out. And so part of it is, first of all, being anchored in the light. So we want to develop the strong uh, connection with light. And the more we've invested in that, typically in the offline mode where you're not in the middle of a work day, but you've invested like being right here um, and developed that relationship because it is a relationship actually with light. The more we've strengthened it, built it and we've felt it, it's a lot easier to maintain it because you can actually like instantly reconnect as soon as you remember. So that's, that's a big deal. Because when you know you're in the middle of a situation where things are not going well, crazy things are happening, but you know you can instantly go internally reconnect with the light, not necessarily with this attitude, light, please fix all the problems for me right away, <laughs> because that'll make me feel good, of course. But instead, light, simply, I know you're there. I know I'm part of you. And feeling that light within, number one. Number two, what we perceive as out there and something's going on, we actually call upon light to be with that as well. People, situations, everything. These two things, when we were able to increasingly with time, go there much faster. We don't have to wait for things to get awful. We're like, everything's going good today. Okay, but still, I wanna connect with the light and call upon light for all my fellow coworkers, my family members, whoever. Then you stay in the light and interesting things happen when you not rush to the light like 911, you know. <laughs> uh, but instead, you cultivate this constantly living in the light, staying in the light, being in the light. You find things unfold differently. That's the cool thing, that, that it's a mode of living where you see that you can tell a lot of things could have gone really bad but they, they don't go that bad. They just go a little challenging, but not a lot challenging. So something happens along the way, which you can never claim, oh, that's, that's what I did. No, you pretty much know that you didn't do it. But instead, but you can pick up on it. Something is different. Things are just flowing smoothly. Uh, that's, that's nice. Uh, so maybe, you know, you know that Thursdays are a bad day because a bunch of things just happen for whatever reason in your work. You, if you do this preemptively, you build up the week uh, in the light, staying in the light, living in the light, and Thursday comes along. You are entering Thursday with a strong connection with light, and then you have to see how things are subtly different. This is when you really start appreciating light because you see that light has this comprehensive intelligence built in which we can never ourselves even understand. But we can intuit it. We can tell something is different. And then sure enough, Thursday felt very different. You don't feel drained at the end of the day and things were bumpy, but not that bumpy, you know. There is a difference. And most importantly, at the end of the day, you don't feel disempowered and helpless. Like, oh man, this is another crazy day. I had no you know, control over what happened and it, it was a mess. You feel like it was quite fine. I was still in a good place inside. And whether anybody noticed it or not, I know I was 
in, in a good place. That is a big deal. That's going back to somebody asked, how do I know I'm living in the light? You feel this within you, right? You don't look at the paper to tell you, newspaper to tell you, you are in the light. <laughs> it's not going to be there. Uh, sometimes we expect it from out, out the outside. Maybe I'll, somebody will send me an email saying, hey, you, you're in the light. Uh, it's, it's really this inner feeling of staying actually in a very powerful place. We feel like we're actually in a very powerful place. Uh, things are unfolding however they are. Some things are always crazy. But you feel you're in a place of power. And when I say power, uh, I want to be clear. I'm not talking about power over things or power over people, which is the usual use of the word power in, in the world. I'm talking about a fundamentally different kind of power, which is inner power. Power to stay in that place of equilibrium, and connection with your higher self, connection with your essence, the power to stay in that, and the power to influence the world around you in a very subtle way, so other people are subtly noticing it, subtly inspired by it, and subtly themselves getting settled. They just see you and something in them which was all like, unsettled, it feels like, oh, I don't need to be that unsettled. Let me relax. So they, they, they go there themselves. You don't have to say anything. So it's pretty real. Living in the light is very real. It's not just a, a nice idea. When you choose light, life becomes increasingly joyful, purposeful, and inspired. I invite you to join me to explore the realms of light, the infinite possibilities that light offers.